What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back on Rise of Kingdoms to talk about the Lost Kingdom which is going to be a new feature coming to the game. It was formerly known as Kingdom vs Kingdom but it will be now known as the Lost Kingdom and we're going to be talking about what's going to be going on with that and showing some images and all that kind of great stuff. Uh, just a little bit of a precursor to that. Uh, all the information is leaks slash sneak peeks from Lilith directly to kind of give us a little bit of insight into the game and this video is being sponsored by Rise of Kingdom so if you guys want to download this game and check out some of these new features there'll be a link down there so you can download it and play it on your favorite device so we're going to go ahead we're going to hop right on into it and we're going to talk about kingdom versus kingdom what is that lost kingdom it's all brand new i guess i shouldn't call it kingdom versus kingdom right it's the lost kingdom now so we're going to talk about uh, I'm going to kind of read through this little brief here, uh, so I'm literally going to be reading for a second. Uh, so basically what it is going to be, it's going to be eight kingdoms uh, are going to make up a group. So your kingdom, for instance, my kingdom, kingdom 82, and you know, whatever other kingdoms are out there, we'll, we'll get seven other kingdoms, we'll be in a kingdom to make up a group, in the middle of the map, we'll be currently fog and that will be the lost world so basically every time the map will open it'll be like an event like the arc it'll open up and you'll have time to hop in uh, and join a group to play the lost world which will be really awesome uh, in the center it's going to kind of open up and in the center there'll be a temple of babel kind of what we see right down there uh but we'll we'll, call it, we'll talk about that here in a little bit because there's a lot of new buildings a lot of new structures uh and a lot of great stuff going on in it so what do you have to do to be able to participate well all players can participate as long as your city hall is level 16 or higher so you have to be city hall 16 or higher which is what t3s i believe that's when you get t3s there'll be eight starting zones each zone corresponds with each server uh so each four corners and then like in the middle of each of those uh if you can kind of imagine it in the map like if we look at the map kind of like uh how you would start any other map but you know each four corners and then like in the middle of those areas will be the eight spots for the kingdoms to kind of come in and correspond in there uh when you teleport your teleport to the map your city moves with you and disappears from the original server unlike the arc so you will move in there temporarily and then you'll gain individual honor alliance honor and server honor at the end you'll get rewards based on the honor accumulated so you're going to be temporarily in the lost world playing this event for however long it goes on and there's a lot of different structures that you can go in you can capture the structures and you can kind of go play through there to defeat uh all the npcs and real players within a certain radius to take ownership of it so kind of like arc where you have to go in and capture stuff and even like uh with the the current game uh just the main game you know we got shrines and stuff that you got to go in and make sure no one else can take out altars all that kind of stuff there's going to be similar mechanics to that in the lost world uh where as it opens up you're going to have to capture different stuff and then in the center you know we have the lost temple uh it'll be a similar uh, thing to that so you kind of want your kingdom working together here so are there resources on the map is one of the big questions being asked uh and yes there will be actually higher resource nodes than what we see higher level barbarian forts and higher level barbarians uh which also drop better rewards obviously because they're higher level which i think that's going to be pretty awesome guys i mean those level five forts and stuff we we take those out regularly uh we farm these level six nodes and get through them we get the level five barbarian forts down and there's going to be new levels to that which is going to be really really awesome how expensive expensive will it be to get in and out of the lost kingdom it'll be free to get in and will require either one te te targeted teleport or 1500 gems to get out uh, so you will have to be able to get out of there uh, using your items if you want to get out. So uh, not territorial, uh, targeted right there. You're going to want to use those targeted teleports to get out. Uh, can you go back and forth between your kingdom and the lost world? Yes, as long as the map is open and the event is ongoing, you can get in and out at any point. So you can go in between the two. You just have to use that targeted teleport to get back out of there, which that makes, that makes quite a bit of sense if you want to get out and go... Uh, do events in the regular world and whatnot. Uh, how long will each phase be in the Lost World? In general, it's going to be a three-month-long event. So the whole thing will be about a three-month-long event uh, during which the map will be open for all players who have reached level 16 to teleport in. So three months is going to be uh, pretty cool. And if it's anything like what we have with like the uh, original kingdoms, 
Uh, and again, this is me speculating right here. Uh, we have like, you know, Z1, Zone 1, where, you know, everyone starts off, kind of works up, grabs some areas, grabs some uh, shrines, altars, all that stuff. And then Z2 opens up, and then same thing. We work there, position yourself for uh, passes and all that stuff. And then Z3 opens up, and then, you know, you start pushing uh, towards the center. I guess I should actually show, show Z3. Start pushing towards the center uh, and towards... Uh, in the real city, uh, Lost Temple, but it'll be something different in there, which we'll kind of talk about. So it, in here, you're going to have to accumulate points, and you're going to do this by doing various actions and activities to earn honor points, such as capturing buildings, killing barbarians, taking down forts. All that kind of stuff is going to add into points, which will add into those rewards at the end of those three months. So this is going to be a long, it's not going to be like ARC where it's one hour. It's going to be a long three-month commitment where you're going to have to get in there, get with your alliance, get with your kingdom, and kind of work together. So kingdoms that are at war, you, you might want to get some peacetime going on uh, when uh, the Lost World is going on. Uh, and then the rewards will not be disclosed until... Uh, not right now. They'll be kind of more towards the end of the Lost Kingdom. So we won't really have a heads up on what the rewards are. And then uh, are the buildings like sh like shrines and altars with individual boosts? Most of them are similar to the altars and shrines. They give various boosts and buffs. So, yes, there's a lot of different stuff in there that will kind of work together and kind of uh, allow everyone to work, uh, work on getting those things taken out. So we're going to show some images right now. Uh, and I want to kind of show these and talk about where these are are going to be on the map. So this is the Altar of Darkness. One sec, guys. Uh, all right, Altar of Darkness. These are going to be like in the outside area, uh, a little bit on the inside area, but mostly on the outside area and somewhat working. I guess they're all over the map there uh, working through. So that's not too bad at all. Uh, another altar type building that you're going to have to capture. We're going to have the... Athens polis which uh that is going I, i'm not really sure what it's gonna be it's gonna be another building to kind of capture um these everything's looking like it's pretty much all over the map i can't actually show the map uh as it's kind of like you know still in development and being worked on but we can kind of take a look at some of these new buildings uh the coliseum which is going to be really really cool to see in there uh because you know that's kind of an iconic thing the coliseum's in there uh, this is looking like it's more of a z2 building uh, kind of in that second circle of things, but you know, everything's always subject to change, uh, just because uh, I say it's like a Z1 building or anything like that doesn't mean that that's a for sure thing. Uh, the Guardian Towers are gonna be kind of like, uh, where we have Guardians, obviously they're runes right now, but where we have Guardians, those Guardian Towers are gonna protect the very center uh, which is going to be really cool. Those will be really interesting to see how strong those are and how they're going to function in the Lost Kingdom, the Lost World, uh, to kind of uh, defend the center of uh, the Lost World. Then we're going to have shrines in there. Uh, these are going to be pretty much, pretty much in the center. It's looking like mostly uh, Z three ish. We'll kind of have to see how that works out. Like I said, uh, just kind of some concept art. So we can kind of see. And then this is the Tower of Babel. This will be our pretty much the same thing as the Lost Temple. Uh, we're in the center. Uh, the Tower of Babel will be the centralized goal right down there, right in the middle of everything, uh, which will be really awesome. That's what we're going to be fighting towards, everyone working towards. And again, we'll have those guardians. Where are those at? Uh, guardian Towers to protect the Temple of Babel, which I think that's going to be really cool. I'm, I'm o only imagining how strong that thing is going to be because remember when we got into your kingdom and going for the lost temple, it was really tough going for that lost temple the first couple times. Uh, so I can only imagine how strong this thing's going to be because I'm imagining I'm going to scale this up so that it's not easy and just instantly able to be taken down. Now, there are some strong, strong kingdoms out there. Don't get me wrong, but... We'll kind of have to wait and see how much is going to be in there. And this is just like the more generalized information that we can kind of give out. But, you know, it's it's what we got. It's what we got. Uh, and one note about the Lost Kingdom is it's not going to go live the day the update comes out. It's going to be uh, kind of like the arc was where it's going to be tested in a few initial kingdoms uh, to see if it's going to work right, if it's going to run right, if there's any bugs, if there's any major issues. Uh, so it's going to be kind of staggered with the delay. So 
you, you're going to probably have to wait a little bit to see uh, the Lost Kingdom and when it comes out because they want to make sure it's going to function right, function properly before introducing like globally. And then, you know, if there's a bunch of issues, they'd rather really re release it to a, a few kingdoms and test it out that way, which, I mean, it kind of makes sense. Once it's bug free, working smoothly, they'll push it out to all the servers, all the kingdoms, and then we can all go in there and play the Lost Kingdom, which that makes a ton of sense so i'm really pumped up about this one guys this is going to be a huge update coming to the game uh we'll have to wait and see how everything plays out what some of those structures do uh again just a little bit of concept art here so we arp a little bit of concept art so we can kind of see everything but um each of those structures are going to have their own reason for being there their own features their own uh, abilities and all that kind of stuff so we'll, we'll wait and see what that is but some pretty exciting news coming out guys the lost kingdom being introduced uh formerly kingdom versus kingdom a lot of us has been waiting for this uh, you're going to be able to fight versus other kingdoms seven other kingdoms with your kingdom in there uh working towards that central goal which oh man i'm i'm pumped up guys i'm pumped up i'm I'm really curious about those guardian towers those are going to be really cool and then the tower of babel it's going to have to be really strong but Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the sneak peek of The Lost Kingdom coming to Rise of Kingdoms really soon. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.